Hey guys, how's it going? This is Simon. Right now I'm in my parents' house. We were actually planning to go to Qinghai province. We were supposed to get on a plane early today, but unfortunately that plane got canceled without giving us any specific reason. It's a last minute call. So we can't go to Qinghai directly. So yeah, uh, my auntie, she booked another flight to Lanzhou, which is fairly close to Qinghai, but it's still not too close. You know, we have to drive for about 300 kilometers. So right now we already pack all the stuff we're about to leave so get to Lanzhou first and then we're just gonna rent the car and then drive to Qinghai nice weather right <laughs> Right now we are at the Udong airport. It's like, well, it takes some time to get inside the airport actually because, you know, due to the pandemic, you need to check our temperature and uh, also share one of the QR code we have. And also you need to wear a mask. Finally, we are inside the airport. We are waiting for the check-in process. It looks like we have a ton of people here in the Pudong airport, although we can't do any international traveling during the pandemic. But I guess most people, they decide to do uh, domestic traveling, you know? I saw a lot of kids, probably because it's the summer holiday for all the kids. Right now, we are flying to Lanzhou. Like I mentioned before, originally we decided to go to Qinghai, but the flight got canceled, unfortunately. So we have to get to Lanzhou, which is pretty close to Qinghai province, and then rent a car, drive to Qinghai. Alright guys, just passed the security check. Right now we are one hour away from our boarding time. We got plenty of time, not in big rush, you know. So probably just gonna find something to eat right now. Uh, yeah, and uh, we probably gonna land at Lanzhou Airport around maybe 5 p.m. So hopefully we can get our rental car at 6 and then it will take us three hours to get to Xinin city which is, is the main city in uh, Qinghai province so if everything went smoothly then we can get our hotel at uh, Xinin city around maybe 10 p.m. so yeah hopefully our flight will be on time so yeah let's get something to eat before we get on to the plan so a typical of Bob noodle is 75 RMB uh, yeah everything is about 50 Quite expensive though. Uh, let's see if there's any other options. So just got some sandwich from Starbucks. Salmon mixed with eggs. Nothing special, you know, typical sandwich. Well, that's unfortunate. I talked with one of the staff. Uh, she told me that the expected uh, takeoff time is around 4.14, so it's a 90 minutes delay. Yeah, I don't think we can make to Xinyin today, because even we get to Lanzhou at around 7 p.m., then it will take us three hour drive to get to Xinyin. Well, what can we do, you know? Just stay here and take our time boarding time so it looks like the delay is over and we can get there not earlier but not too much late so hopefully we can still get to Xinyin today we'll see about that just landed. Although the plane got delayed for two hours, but right now in terms of landing, it's actually just one hour late. So the captain flight the plane fairly quickly. Right now we're just gonna get off the plane and then get our rental car because we have a long way to drive to Shina.
Finally, we are out of the airport. Just got our luggage. Right now, we are waiting for the rental car company to pick us up, and then we can drive to Xining, which is probably gonna take us another three hours. One good thing for us is that the sun is still pretty high up, even though right now it's already 7 p.m. But here, the sun goes down fairly lately, so yeah, hopefully we can get there by 11 p.m. Just got to the rental car company. We need to do some paperwork. Then I assume we can just pick our key and good to go. Just got our car. My dad is driving. Uh, so the sun is still up. That's nice. So probably gonna take us three to four hours to get there. So hopefully it doesn't take us too long. We didn't make to Xinin today because it's getting late right now, it's already 10 p.m. So we decided to stay here. It's called Le Du City, uh, which is about probably 70 kilometers away from Xinin. So we found a pretty decent hotel, so we're just gonna stay here for a night and tomorrow we're gonna just leave early, I guess. So yeah, uh, we haven't ate our you know dinner yet, so I'm super starving right now. So let's find something to eat, shall we? Okay, we got some barbecue lamb. We're going to take a bite. Mm, it's nice. You know, sometimes those lamb have some weird smell, but this, no, it doesn't have no smell. Local beef. The pair with some garlic. Mm. It's good. The total price is around, I think, 140 RMB for five person. It's pretty decent. Finish our food. Super satisfying now. So, gonna go back to the hotel. Alright guys, right now we're finally at our hotel room. Super tired right now. This hotel was actually pretty new, you know. Uh, it was built this year, 2021. Probably the nicest hotel in this small little town. Uh, one night is about 400 RMB. We are on the 19th floors. So yeah, decent space. Uh, everything is brand new. Uh, the service is also pretty decent. So yeah, uh, we will have another long day tomorrow. We have to travel all the way to Xining and then get to some of the uh, tourist attraction site. So yeah, quit talking. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, what's up? Good morning. It's the second day. Uh, we are just having our breakfast. Just got some noodles, some broccoli, you know, some typical stuff here. So yeah. Just gonna finish breakfast maybe within 10 minutes and then we're just gonna head on the road. Pretty nice weather. Uh, the daytime here is fairly long. Um, I think 5 a.m. It's already very bright outside and uh, the day will last until maybe 9.30 p.m. So yeah, it's pretty good for us, you know. Just get back to our hotel room. Uh, I just noticed one thing that all the snacks we brought to this trip are swelling up. Probably because here uh, the altitude is much higher than uh, we used to live. I think we are 2,000 meters above sea level, so due to the low air pressure uh, in the atmosphere, so all those packages just start swelling. I think for this trip we might even reach to four or five thousand, you know, above sea level. So I'm a little bit concerned about my grandpa's health issues. So. But we brought a bunch of equipment with us, so later we'll show you guys 
we have some uh, oxygen generator and some other equipment which can test the oxygen level in our blood so should be fine another thing I just noticed that there are a lot of tall buildings here in this small town for those fourth or third tier cities here in China whether there are a lot of people they just build a bunch of high buildings you know anyways it's almost 8 a.m. now so let's head on the road shall we Way. Okay guys, we are at our first destination. Here is Tar Temple, which is probably the most famous temple here in Qinghai province. Uh, I guess it was built several thousand years ago. So yeah, it's a long time ago, you know. Uh, not too sure about that because I'm not a Buddhist, you know. Just got this uh, hat for 25 RMB. Uh, everybody should get a hat if you come here because due to the high altitude the uh, sun is pretty strong here so yeah uh, today is Sunday actually so we got a ton of tourists over here so it took us some time to get here anyways I think we are pretty close to the temple now so let's just get inside I guess the temple is right over there there Alright guys, we are getting in now, just got our ticket, ton of people here. Okay, so I was actually wrong, uh, this place wasn't built like several thousand years ago, it was built around uh, 1300 according to the official map. So basically it was around Ming Dynasty. To be honest, this place is more like a tourist attraction site now instead of a religious place you know because people come in here they pay an entrance fee and then take a bunch of photos you know you don't actually learn much stuff I do saw some Tibetan monks here by the way this is a Tibetan Buddhist temple the higher you go the fewer people you have it's pretty quiet over here very peaceful nice weather Alright guys, I think that's pretty much it for this temple, you know, we're gonna head to our next stop. I don't know much about Buddhism, I'm not a religious person by any means, but I guess most people here, they're just like me, they're atheists, they're just typical Chinese tourists, you know, coming here because this place is pretty famous, you know, taking a bunch of photos and then go home, so... Yeah, I mean, if you are not into Buddhism, I won't recommend this place. Okay, fine, we just get out of the temple. Uh, right now it's actually lunchtime, so let's get something to eat first. So we are at a traditional Tibetan restaurant, I think. So just gonna order some local food here and have a taste. By the way, we are at the Qinghai province, but you know, Qinghai is actually fairly close to Tibet, so and they share very similar culture. We just finished our lunch. Uh, we ended up not ordering any meat because we ate too much meat last night, so just want to keep us all fit, you know. So yeah, just ordered some local vegetable and we did try their local tea. It's I assume that's Tibetan tea, I don't know the English name. But I don't like it that much because it's a little bit oily and also it's salty. And you got also a smell of milk, but it's worth trying, you know. It's always good to try something you never tried before, right? <laughs> Okay, one personal tip for you guys, uh, if you have any elderly person coming with you, definitely try to avoid all those intensive physical activities because here, you know, it's fairly high up, so due to the high altitude, the air is much thinner than uh, sea level, so you can see, I just tried to walk and talk and I'm out of breath right now, so yeah. <sighs> Just 
just gonna quickly take a short break in this service area. Uh, we're still 200 kilometers away from our next station, uh, Chaka Salty Lake. The weather is super good, it's not like super hot, you know. But I think one thing worth mentioning is that not only you need a hat, you probably want to wear some like long sleeve shirts and pants to protect your skin from those super strong sunshine. Okay, so I think we are ready, just gonna add some gas and then hit the road, you know. Probably I'm gonna take the wheel, let my dad take some break. Right now we are at our next destination. It's a pretty famous spot. It's a must visit place in Qinghai province. Uh, I think it's called Cha Ka Salty Land. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Alright guys, just got our ticket. So it looks like our car is parked pretty far away from the main attraction site. So right now we actually need to buy another bus shuttle ticket. So it will take us to the main entrance. Then we're gonna pay the entrance ticket, which is over here. So, uh, so the bus is 30 RMB and the uh, entrance ticket is around 60 to 70. And then after we get inside, we need to pay another mini train, which probably gonna take us another, I don't know, 40 or 50. So yeah, uh, it's pretty pricey to be honest for this natural scenery. But yeah, since we're already here, right? So we gotta check them out. So anyways, let's just get inside first, shall right? we? We're right here, take the bus, then go over there. Okay. Here is the shuttle bus. <laughs> Just got off from the shuttle bus. Now it looks like probably gonna take another few minutes to get to the main entrance. So nowadays, almost every single attraction I have this kind of you know study the history of the party. So pretty interesting, right? All right, guys. Just try to do some translation for you guys. You guys probably don't understand, right? So great, glorious, correct. Long live the Chinese Communist Party. How cool is that? Follow the party forever. Mm -hmm. Just got our train ticket. The round trip for one single person is 100 RMB. Not cheap at all, but what can you do, yeah. right? So, you yeah, let's take the train. So study the party history, listen to the party and follow the party. Those slogans are actually everywhere in mainland China. No matter you go to Shanghai, Beijing, even in a public toilet bathroom, you can find this slogan. And here we got sing a red song for the party. Just got off the train guys, so that little mini train, I think the total range is about 5 kilometers, but it's taking forever. Right? So I think this place used to be a, a salt factory, and then after this place got abandoned, I think the local government switched to this place into a tourist attraction site, so that's why there's so many people over here. We just got some uh, shoes cover, so it's 10 RMB per here for rent so basically we're gonna walk down to the lake since it's pretty shallow and the reflection of the lake kind of give you a fairly nice look uh, it's like you are standing on a window so that's why they call it glass of the sky or something I don't know how to translate that so let's just walk down and shoot some photo for the ladies you know I guess all these white powders are just salt, so definitely try to avoid touching this salt with your skin because yeah, those water are very salty, right? Probably pretty bad for your skin, yeah.
Alright guys, I think that's pretty much it. The sun is about to go down, so it's much cooler than before. The sun was super, super strong. I feel like I almost lost game burn. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. I guess we won't go any further. Just gonna stay here, find a hotel, and find a restaurant. And then we're gonna take a break. Now. Tomorrow we're gonna have a long way to go. So I think that's pretty much it now. Let's head back to our camp.